Kentucky's anxiety is partly why we... It's been two weeks, and now I'm back at this planet, here. So, yeah, basically, you know. So, here I am, back at this planet. Let's chill here, smoke some weed, watch YouTube, I guess. on the Chucky the Brave VHS. Number... Yeah, buddy. Number 10. Sam dresses as Cat. Sam and Cat. Although this series only lasted a season, the pairing of Sam Puckett and Cat Valentine was bound to result in some rewatchable shenanigans. Where Sam is street smart and rough around the edges, Cat is sweet and naive. personalities make for a memorable dynamic, especially when Kat dresses Sam up as herself for Satterween. Sam trades in her blonde locks for Kat's signature red hair. She completes the look by putting on Kat's high-pitched voice. This was more kids. Snoop. Number eight. Family, I, I, I bet you Snoop Dogg would hey say, I give you needles, some weight. Wondering if the titular football head would like ever get that. together with Helga. Oh, yeah, I bet I you, my dear. I bet you. Wait, 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 To tell you, with Arnold as Romeo and Helen, the new night city would just open called New Night City. Helga lays one on Arnold's lips in and the shadow part of character. I haven't gone there yet, but people are talking about it here on this planet for two three weeks for when this, I've been on it. Number seven. People are talking Splinter, about it. Ninja Turtles. It's the good and Ninja bad. Appeased old fans and so, embracing why the not head there? Side while also returning to its darker roots. Being a so-called kids network, though, we didn't expect the main character to meet a brutal end. This made Splinter's last stand all the more shocking. I will end your nightmare, Saki. Permanently! 
Although it appears Splinter has thwarted Super Shredder, we're alerted to the impending danger as Leo looks up and lets out a scream of agony. Shredder sneaks up from behind and attacks Splinter, sending him falling to his doom. <laughs> Turtles can't believe that their father is gone, and neither can the audience. No! Please! <laughs> While Splinter later resurfaces as a spirit, his demise is permanent, contributing to this scene's drama, anguish, and rewatch value. Number six, repair man, 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 man. All that. All that had several recurring characters who never failed to bring the laughs. While it's hard for us to declare a favorite, the Repairman sketches are perhaps the most rewatchable. Blinking is good! Please don't knock the parents! Please! Please, I'm begging you! <laughs> we never knew when- Let's pause it and head to the new show punk, New Night City. Why not? Goodbye this earth, or goodbye this world, I'll miss you. But if you enjoy, you know, goodbye Mars 2, Mars 1 is over there, Mars 2 is over here. So, yeah, let's head out I guess. Let's head on my ship and head to the shower punk. Oh. Let's head up and tell my boys. You hey boss, where do you want to go today? Uh, I want to go to the shower punk. Oh. But not to the night, old night city. To the new night city. Which just opened up like two weeks from today, like well, you know what I mean, yeah gotcha okay just sit down and relax or go to bed, it's up to you okay hmm, where's the bed I might head to bed yo actually I might sleep here why not Oi, we are there okay it's 9am where so, this is New Night City, huh? Cool. My spaceship is that way. So, yeah. There has to be a mo a motel somewhere. Actually, I might buy an apartment or something like that. Fuck staying in the hotel. I want to buy an apartment. Jump. What is this building here? Is this an apartment or a hotel? What is it? I think it's a apartment, but where do I buy rooms at? No. No. Okay, I bought I bought a room up there on on the top on the second floor. Let me give the machine my money. Okay. There'll be it's okay, so so it'll be a hundred dollars, okay. Five 10, 15, keep the change, okay, so let's head out to the room I guess,
that's not my place. My place is this building here, this big building here. So yeah, let's head there. Here we are, this is the place. No. Head all the way up. Until I find it. Here we are. This is the place. Okay, so, uh, computer, and then one bed, two bed, dinner table, kitchen, a balcony of the view, nice, what's downstairs in my apartment, the lounge room, another computer, and another bedroom. This is, this will be my bedroom. I guess let's head out, smoke some weed on the top balcony. Actually, yeah, let's chill here and smoke some weed. Often written to be as repugnant and offensive as possible. Whether it's bullying his daughter Meg, or making jokes at the expense of anybody different than him, a lot of Peter's humor is written around how he mistreats
back, guys, to another video on PGN for Pro Gamer Network. Recently, I was suggested to bomb the server with mortars. My friend Dean and I are going to be playing as two guys who accidentally buy mortar rounds instead of fireworks. And this is how my server reacted. Make sure you guys watch all the way to the end as it gets crazier and crazier as the video goes on. And enjoy the video. Shells of big HG rounds. This idiot doesn't even know. Yeah, these things are fireworks. I had no idea these were uh, explosive rounds. Are you up here? Hello? Yeah, it's, it's Wayne Bard. Hello? Wayne Bard here. I've gone to the wrong rock again. I've gone to every rock around here. Yeah. You, you, oh, you, thank you, God. I'm running around. around. What is that, bro? I got them fireworks. Look at this pitiful shit, eh? Put them in, put them in, the, in, the, in the thing. I'll, I'll uh, we should wait till tonight to launch them, Charlie. I think we just do it right now. You want to do it now? <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm targeting this thing up. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Why is somebody down there? Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to explain it to him? Okay, he's going to be in on it then. I are y'all coming up party. here for the party? What for the party? I don't remember oh, about this party. guy. How the hell does he know what we're doing? Yeah, I don't know. Some of you guys on this can rock. I'm like, what in the f*** are y'all doing oh, up here? here? Uh, fire. Some fires? What the f*** is no, fire? No, fire. Fireworks. Five, oh, fire fireworks. Five oh. fireworks. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. My apologies. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really a country guy. I'm, well, yeah. I'm a city folk, but yeah. Hold on, let me get a beer first. Why did you, why did you nose like that? Because it's broke. Don't you remember? You, know, you remember what happened my nose? Un unloading the John Deere thing hit me in the goddamn oh, nose. Yeah, I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah, we should like launch some fireworks down there. Um, hold on, we should hit the uh, middle of like the, the, you know that dirt median in between the Sandy Shores PD and like oh, okay, Joshua? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah, we should hit there first. I mean, we should we should start uh, launching them. I think the whole our whole town will love us. We keep a bunch of friends up on up on up here all all night. You know what I'm saying? How are you gonna launch them like up here? Is it gonna explode right here? It's gonna go high. You know, it's 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 We should start off with a small one just to to demonstrate how much fireworks we got. Oh, the whole town's gonna love us. The whole San is gonna love us. I can do. Yeah. I, I think that's Pro's character. That looks like uh, that, that, what's that? Oh. that oh, uh, 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 this guy looks like Kurt Cobain. Oh, hey, dude, my name is Bert. Bert Cocaine. Bert Cocaine. I come here. I, I sing my songs on this rock. This is where I come every Wednesday. It's like a mortar round. Oh, yeah, yeah we're, we're celebrating using some fireworks over yeah. my second uh, divorce. Yeah. Second oh, year, I feel that, that, I feel that. Yeah. Yeah. You want to go to the fireworks? Uh, uh, you
Cars are getting very close to us. Permission to take permission to fire back. They're about to shoot us.
same time, I want to have at least three air units up patrolling the area, mainly using thermals, trying to find the people, maybe look on hills and everything, and just find all of them. Um, and see if we can get thermals on the people using these mortars or rockets, whatever. Yes, I need you guys to find any civilians in those homes that may still be there.
shit, dude. a crush on him merely because he saved Zeus's life. We saw her constantly smacking his bottom, and we all remember that iconic time she asked him, You want some fries? And shake She was also known for her catchphrase, when she gets Bertram to do something with her. So it doesn't really surprise us when she says something wild and over the top. In this episode, Mr. Bertram and Zuri watch a marathon of their favorite show in order to find out a secret in the series finale, but they end up falling asleep. So when Mrs. Chesterfield walks in on them and sees Mr. Bertram snoring, she says to Jesse, Oh, Bertie's so adorable. He's all sweet, wee boy. <laughs> I just want to squeeze his cheeks. So Jesse quickly responds, Please tell me you mean his face. Yes. Mrs. Chesterfield, please tell us you mean his face. When it comes to scenes between this couple, everything just gets inappropriate. In this episode, Jessie tries to impress her friend and borrows a Tiffany Diamond tiara. But while recording the video, Jessie accidentally drops the tiara into Mrs. Chesterfield's hot tub, and she refuses to return it. So Jessie and Zuri turn to Bertram and convince him to ask Mrs. Chesterfield on a date to distract her, and then everything just got out of hand. Even though the butler wasn't coming Comfortable, he played along so Jesse could keep her job. He said that she brought out the animal in him, dancing passionately with her. Then he said, My garlic bread is burning. And Mrs. Chesterfield pushed her buns against his lap, saying that she knows exactly how it feels. So when the date was over, Zuri said that she knows what Mrs. Chesterfield wanted for dessert. Bertram a la mode. And grown-ups know what it means to eat a man on a date. After finding a nest of eggs on the terrace, Jesse and Robbie she discover wants, she, that Mr. Kipling wants, is really wants, a girl and a mom-to-be, which makes much. Robbie realize that he may have to work at becoming a better grandparent to baby lizards. However, when Robbie realizes he cannot possibly take care of all 12, Jesse persuades him to give them out for adoption. After Robbie interviews many people, he does not approve because he wants to find the lizard's good parents, until he finally meets a woman named Cassandra, who mentions that her boss is going to take them upstate to a loving home. But Jesse and Robbie were horrified when they discovered that in reality, Cassandra was going to turn the lizards into accessories. So Jesse, Mr. Bertram, and the kids went to rescue the lizards from her. We love a good cause. However, while they are catching the lizards, Mr. Bertram gets bit by ten lizards. So Jesse says, Well, he just got dead. Then Mr. Bertram says, Make that twelve. Ouch, that sure hurt. We all know that Debbie Ryan is a beautiful young woman, and it's no surprise that Luke would fall in love with her. He has made his crush on Jessie clear since the first episode, and certainly couldn't take his eye off of her. In the same episode, they were rescuing the lizards. When they finally found them, Jessie says, I feel like I'm being watched. So Luke says, What do you expect when you wear that dress? Not by you. Well, seems like Luke just won't stop staring, but we get why. That boy seems young, but he clearly knows how to flirt. In season three, Jesse falls in love with a guy named Brooks. After becoming a couple, he proposes, and they become engaged. But she later dumps him and runs away on their wedding day. Not long after, Brooks emails Jesse from Africa, and she instantly feels guilty for bailing on him. She then disappears, which makes the kids think she went to Africa to apologize to him. So the kids follow her to Africa, convinced Jesse wants to rekindle her relationship with her ex-fiance, and determined to stop her, only to find out that he's seen a new girl named Cammy. So when Brooks introduces the kids to his new girlfriend, Luke thanks her for making their 18-hour plane ride worth it. So Cammy says, Watch it. I can do to anything in five minutes. And Luke quickly responds, So I've got five minutes? Well, our childhood is officially ruined, but at least he was subtle. Good job, Luke. We have to admit we have a dirty mind, and some 
sometimes we just can't ignore it. For example, in the episode Bad Fellas, Emma has a huge crush on a bad boy named Vincent. But when Jesse meets the boy with a bad reputation, she thinks he is a bad influence on Emma and does not approve of her seeing him as she's worried that Emma will get hurt like she did years ago. Meanwhile, Robbie and Luke are impressed by Vincent and even helps him impress Emma by setting up the screening room for his evening with her. So as a reward, he gave them some bathroom passes. So Robbie quickly points out that these are passes for the girls' bathroom. Then Vincent grinned cheekily and said, You're welcome. Not cool, Vincent. Not cool. Emma, Vincent's here. Seems like a swell guy. It's no secret that Luke is madly in love with Jesse, and that doesn't keep him from misbehaving, because that's the reason she gives him a lot of attention. Oh, I'm not calling her. I'm checking the webcam I set up in her bedroom. Sneaky, Luke. That just sounds wrong. Why do you think he had a webcam set up in her room? Is it because he doesn't Master want to miss her, and he wants to see her all the time? We really hope that's the case. <clears throat> Speaking of webcams, this isn't the first time Luke mentions filming Jesse with a- I guess it's time to push it and put out my joint. Let's head to bed in my crib. Okay, so it's 9 a.m. Let's head on the balcony. Her knowing. In this episode, Jessie finally gets her big break as a stunt double to Australian actress Shaylee Michaels. Luke's dad got information <coughs> from the director to shoot behind the scenes for his film class, so he decides to follow Jessie with the camera. But this time, not in a creepy, 